channels welcome to the channel so for the past I'll say about 20 minutes I have been trying to get a video for you guys and usually when it's like this I just end up just turning the camera off for good I don't want to force anything but it feels like something needs to be said maybe somebody's trying to hold back is what I'm getting okay because I did pull some intuitive cards here that I wanted to uh, get started with this reading and then I only pull one tarot card Okay, and this is a temper, I said temperament, <laughs> this is a judgment card, okay? This is a judgment card here in the reverse, and I'm feeling like somebody is deeply worried, and this is why this person is not coming towards you. I feel like this person is deeply worried about coming towards you because they're not exactly sure if you're going to want to accept what it is they have to offer. Mm, okay, so... This person, I'm feeling like this is something that's very important with this Venus in retrograde. Could possibly be that something happened in the past, or it could be said something happened, will happen during the Venus retrograde. This person says they can't get enough. Yeah, somebody is definitely missing you a lot, okay? This person is letting you know that I miss cuddling with you. The next card says the things I want to do to you. I feel that this person may have in the past, they may have been flaky, may have not offered you much, but I feel like this person now wants to offer you long term, uh, a long term relationship. I feel like this person was inconsistent in the past and they now want to offer you consistency. I feel that this person is a single dad or they're about to be a single dad. Um, maybe they have a child that is on the way with somebody else that could be something that happened and it says take me for what I am I do feel like this person doesn't want to be judged or they're afraid that they will be judged by you if they tell you maybe about that if you know about there being I guess a child involved so they're not exactly sure you would be interested in them after that I don't know I don't know that that thought is coming in heavy I feel like this person is coming out of a codependent relationship that was very toxic and this person is now ready to tell you that. I feel like this person may have held this back from you in the past. They didn't talk to you about it. And this may be why the two of you are not um, speaking at this time. So, like I said, I did flip it out. I decided to turn the camera back on and just said, I'm just going to do it. But uh, the judgment card in the reverse came out. And this person is worrying themselves to death about this decision, about how you were going to feel about it. Okay, and they want to talk. They're just afraid of being judged. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some more cards and see what unfolds. Please give me the most accurate, consistent reading, please, for the sign of Leo. What are the most... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use these cards that popped out. Those are usually the ones that resonate the most. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, okay? Could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer that is in your energy. This person that uh, is now, I feel like, let me see if I can kind of pull some together more. I don't want to jump the gun. Oh, this person is very unhappy right now. Very unhappy, very disappointed. I feel like they're disappointed in themselves, maybe in the way that they treated you. I get a strong feeling with this four of cups here that this person didn't tell you about this toxic relationship that they were involved in, or maybe the fact that they could have probably had someone with child. It's something that I feel has happened with them and maybe possibly the mother of their child, the father of their child. Well, I don't know. This one was pretty clear cut with this single dad well with this single dad card here this was very clean cut i do feel very heavily for some of you you're definitely dealing with a single father and this is bothering this person a lot yeah this person it speaks this five of coins speaks to disharmony in a marriage or love interest okay this person is in a situation in which they're not happy in or they weren't happy in and this person is looking towards wanting to be with you oh and also 
this, yeah, I think the reason why this person held back from maybe telling this to you or to maybe started pushing themselves away from you is because there's a, they feel like there will be some type of threat to your safety with the person that they're involved with. Okay. You got this nine of cards, nine of coins here, and they knew that a storm would brew. They knew that if they were to tell you about this, all hell would have broke loose. If their person would have found out about you and their feelings that they have for you, all hell would have broke loose. Mm, this person, yeah. This person did not have faith that if they were able to let the other person know about you, it would have went down. And it surely would have. You got the seven of swords here. There would have been arguments. There would have been fights. That could have possibly been a knife that somebody could have got pulled out on them. Because this definitely would have been ugly. It would have been a lot of fights and uncertainty that would have came out of this situation. Somebody could have slandered your name or slandered that person's name. This is what I'm feeling. I feel as if somebody is somebody's talking. Somebody's lying on somebody. Maybe this person is... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of you all are dealing with the... Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with a guy that is involved with someone and they have a very unhealthy, toxic, codependent relationship. This person is trying to get away from them, but they know that if they get away from this person, they could be trying to keep them from their kid. So that is why they're staying. They're staying because they don't want to lose the connection that they have with their child or with their children. So unfortunately, they stay and they deal with it. And when they do try to leave this person, this person slanders their name. This person babbles, okay? This person talks shit about them constantly, okay? This person is literally living in hell. This is someone that comes out very responsible. This is somebody that may have a professional business. It could be somebody that's like a boss or something. And they don't want the embarrassment. People would be surprised that they have a partner that is the way that they are. Somebody that's very aggressive, okay, very bitter, very angry, ready to ready to throw hands, okay? I feel like these two have made more than once have gotten into a situation where somebody put their hands on somebody else. I'm telling you, this situation is so bad. This person knows that it would be a threat to your safety if this person would come to you with this other person still in the picture. Because this person feels as if they have, this person feels as if they literally are holding this person hostage. And I do feel for some of them, um, they are being held back because of financially what this can do to them. Some of the people that are involved in this situation are very successful. And they have a hell of a lot to lose if they walked away from this person. But the thing is, I feel like, they're coming out of this and they're like, you know what? I'll have to take my losses at the end of the day for some. And wow. Yeah. See, once again, it's speaking to domestic fights. I'm telling you, this person is fighting all the time. So if some of you had found out that somebody was playing you, that somebody was involved in this type of situation that they put you in, trust me, if you're wanting to know whether or not this person is getting their karma, hell yeah, this person is getting their karma. I'm talking about 10 times over. The fighting could have progressed now because that person may have found out about you. Whew. My goodness. I kept saying, why can't I do this reading? I literally had to turn off a video that I literally had 15 minutes in that I was recording. And I was so upset because I had to turn it off because it just wasn't clicking. I just wasn't feeling it. I just felt like I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't tapped into my intuition and that that is not the story that needed to be told. So I just said, screw it. So that's the video I have to delete, which is fine because I have to feel good. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I have to feel good about what it is that I'm putting out and not just, you know, try to force something. Oh, my God. This person is crying over you. This person is crying over their situation. This person is so disappointed in themselves for staying in a situation that's not healthy for them. You got that ton of sores there. God, they're in a lot of pain. They are in so much pain, but the thing is, you don't you don't have to stay in a situation that is not serving you, but it's so toxic. This person has issues, serious issues. They could be dealing with. I feel like some of them may have gotten involved with somebody that has some type of an addiction, and maybe that that codependency comes from this person feeling like they could save them. 
I don't know. Somebody, somebody wants, somebody is wanting to save somebody. Somebody's wanting to fix somebody. Maybe if I just save this person and I can get them together. Maybe if I do this, then this person, you know, I don't want to leave them when they're, when they're down. Mm, my goodness, that's not healthy at all. Definitely not healthy. Yeah. That's not healthy at all. Oh my goodness. My goodness. This person is definitely coming out of this. <laughs> you know why this person is coming out of this? Because this person can no longer fight what they have for you. This person needs to be with you. This person is learning from this. This person, okay, for some of you, this person has gotten a divorce. You may have found out this person was married. Trust me, this person has going, is going to get a divorce for some of you. This person is beginning to understand what you mean to them, this person is beginning to understand what it is that they have been putting themselves through. And this person is releasing themselves from bondage. This person is throwing those shackles off. They said, F this, I'm out of this situation. I'm not staying any longer. You're not going to keep doing this to me because the longer they stay with this person, the longer their will starts to go back the other way and they start to experience so much bad luck because of this. Because of this person, because of this situation, they can't keep money in their pocket. They can't keep their stuff together because this person is literally draining them emotionally, financially, physically. Constantly waking up fighting with somebody is so unhealthy. And this is what they're doing. They're cussing each other pulling out there's so much cussing going on it's ridiculous they're cussing they're throwing things this person somebody could be possibly a violent drunk somebody gets drunk somebody gets high somebody does something and when they get in that element they act a stone fool see and they, that's the thing <laughs> this person wants to come towards you but they keep waiting they keep going, no, 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 no. I want to come toward them, but I, I should wait. I should wait till this happened or I should wait till that happened because they're still giving, uh, having out, having hope, okay? You may not even have any more feelings for this person, but they have hope that this person can turn their life around. This is maybe somebody that cannot keep a job. Maybe someone that can't keep, you know, they, they can't, something about stability. There's something about stability, Leos, that this person is afraid that if they leave this person behind, not only will they have to deal with the ramifications of that by this person being very violent or they feel like this person would do something to you, is this is the biggest thing. It feels as if they're trying to protect you overall. They're sitting here taking the blows, taking the issues, taking the drama and all of this because they don't want to bring anything to you. So they're feeling like, I'll just wait and stay in this situation where I'm unhappy where things are going bad, where this situation is broken and fight it out, you know, until they feel that this person gets themselves on their feet. Whew. Yeah, the person they're dealing with is taking all their money. This person is very greedy. And see, the problem, here's the problem between, here's the problem that's going on here with that four of coins. The person is greedy that they're dealing with, but then your person in this situation, okay, you can flip it any way you want. This is a general love reading, but what kept this person here so long with them is the fact that they didn't want their money to get messed up when they left them. You know, fear of just something going bad, something having to do with child support, something having to do with some legal fees or something. Ooh, could have gotten themselves in trouble with the law behind this could have had so much situ so much damage okay somebody's had windows broken cars repossessed people have had their houses um going to foreclosure all of this trying to help someone who doesn't even want to help themselves yeah this person is trying to make a decision This person has very strong, deep feelings for you. This person actually sees themselves, for some of you, marrying you. This person wants that freedom so bad to express how they feel to you. I don't feel like for some of you, they've really opened up. They've really told you exactly just how strong this person is, um, how much this person loves you. I feel like for some of them, they have learned in this situation 
I feel like in a, in a way you may not have realized it, but you actually helped this person break the shackles. You are helping this person come up out of this situation. They could possibly be coming out of some addiction as well, okay? Like I said, it is definitely codependency on both their ends, but this person may have also been fighting some type of substance abuse. Maybe both of them have issues with overindulging or just being addicted to each other in an unhealthy way, but the love that they have for you is so strong is helping them come out of this situation. And they're coming out of it very slowly, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus here, okay? You could be dealing... See, it, some of you all are dealing with a Taurus. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say some of you are dealing with an Earth sign. Could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo. But some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus that's trying to come out of an addiction to a person, codependency or something. And they're wanting to come. And it's not, it's not even a doubt in my mind that this person is coming out of this because they're trying to come back for you. They have a lot of respect for you. They're reflecting a lot on the decisions that they've made about the things that they've, they've done wrong in this situation by hurting you, by being corrupt, um, by being unfaithful to you, by being unfaithful to the person that they were with. They knew that they were, they knew that they were bad. Okay. They knew that they were wrong for what they did for holding you in a situation and making you feel like you were the only one. This person's definitely gained um, some wisdom and sound judgment because of this. And definitely this person has some hidden emotions that they haven't revealed. I do believe some people have not told you just how much they love you, but this person loves the hell out of you. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. You got the King of Coins here in the reverse. Some of you all are definitely dealing with a Taurus that has upgraded, okay? The page is now a king. The page is now a king, but this page, I mean, but this king here hasn't come out of this, this codependency yet. They're almost there. They're almost there. That was a lot to take in. But yeah, this person definitely wants to have a long-term relationship with you. This person wants to show you that they can be consistent, that they can be loving and caring. Um, they're just afraid of whether or not you're going to you know, consider them having a child or something like that. Or their situation is baggage that you may not want to deal with. But this person is definitely ready to talk to you, ready to open up and um, let you know what's been going on. And it's definitely going to happen during some type of retrograde, okay? It could be Venus. But it's definitely going to happen. This person is going to let it all out. Okay? They're going to let it all out and just leave the cards where they may. So, let's see. I dropped a couple cards. So, I have here in front of me the Island Time Wellness Oracle cards that I have seriously just fallen in love with. I feel like they are right on the money. Okay? <laughs> But I love this this so much. I love it to death. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> even the most important messages for the sign of Leo at this time, please. One of the most important messages for the sign of Leo at this time. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> My intuition was talking, to, was was speaking to me earlier. It was I get I get what's going on now. I get why the story didn't make sense at first. Okay, so let me break this down real fast before I pull out these cards. So, Pandora. I was listening to Pandora, and the first song that came on. <laughs> look at the card that flipped over. Addiction. We'll get into that in a moment. But I was listening to Pandora and the first song that came on that just stuck in my head was Selena Gomez's song, Back to You. I think she's saying, I want to hold you when I'm not supposed to, when I'm lying next to someone else. That is why that song kept playing in my head. This person is lying next to someone that they are unhappy with, that they're staying with out of loyalty, but this person misses you and they long for you. And if you gave this person the opportunity, they would go back to you at any time. And I'm getting the energy now. Um, I'm starting to cry because the energy of somebody that's really sad Somebody that really misses 
misses you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. This person is really sad. They are really sad. And they really miss you. My goodness. Crap. Why do I always end up crying? <laughs> Why do I always end up crying? This person wants to marry you. This person wants to marry you. This person wants a union with you. This person is going to open up and this person is going to let it all out. They're going to let you know how they feel. They're going to let you know that no matter what, they would always come back to you. This person is dealing with the addiction of codependency. Codependency right there, along with addiction. This is what this person is dealing with. This is what this person is fighting against. So that this person can come to you. This person is going through a transformation. Okay, just like when I showed you all that devil card there in the reverse. This person is breaking the bondage of codependency. And this person is coming towards you because they can't fight this. They cannot fight this. A decision is going to be made. You got the keys on the ring card here. This is all about making a decision. Okay. Making a decision after having the options. And this person is going to come towards you because like I said, this is a soul contract. This person is your soulmate. I think you know it as well. I think as soon as some of you saw this card, you kind of gasped when you saw it because you know who this person is. And you want this person as much as they want you. Oh, okay. Let me wipe my face. <laughs> oh, that was deep. Okay, <laughs> crap. Um, this wasn't even that kind of reading I was going to do. Okay, this wasn't going to be, this was going to be one of those. Um, actually, I still can make it a reading where I can title it, um, I think I still want to title it. You need to, you want to know the truth. Here it is. No filter. I'm still going to make it that one because that's the truth. That's your soulmate. That's somebody that loves you. That's somebody that's fighting to be with you. That is somebody that is fighting demons. Okay. That is somebody that is fighting against childhood issues. And this energy that's around me, my goodness, <laughs> it's so heavy. Yeah, sometimes I get drained when I do readings and other times I'm just like really, really happy. I'm starting to feel happy again because, I don't know, always seeing that, that soulmate card or making seeing a story come together makes me feel better. But, yeah, that person is definitely, definitely in love with you. person is very sexually attracted to you, very uh, emotionally attracted to you. And it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Definitely a strong attraction. A lot of romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's real between the two of you. Despite how this situation may have unfolded in the beginning, there's definitely going to end up being a happy ending between you and your person. And it's all going to start. <laughs> and it's all going to start when you all do this. Heart to heart conversation. Lining right on up with I'm ready to talk, isn't it? This person is definitely ready to talk. My um, intuitive cards are scary sometimes. Very, very scary. <laughs> My sister makes fun of them all the time because I wrote them on a piece of paper. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to turn them into cards. If I turn them into cards, I'll probably, I don't know, sell them one day. Because I do feel that they are. there's a lot of strong energy around those. Um, yeah, that is so beautiful. Um, 
I'm actually going to close this off here with the Lover's Oracle. This was not even the plan that I had, but this turned out to be such a beautiful reading for you, Leos. If it resonated with you guys, can you please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on your notification bell so you'll be reminded each and every time I upload. <laughs> I do uh, readings for all signs. I like to make sure that everybody gets it's a little love out there. Oh, guys, this is your card. First of all, look how beautiful this one is. I think this is the first time I've pulled this one. I don't, I don't recognize this image. But it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. I feel like in the past here, this person may have felt like they held back from you because they felt like they kind of perceived you differently. They may have thought that you could have been like a clingy person. So they were like, no, I don't know if I should give in. That was definitely some of the issues that they may have had with you. But. Oh, no, no. What's coming through is that this person's codependency. Don't let that run you away. That is something that they're going to work on by being in this relationship with you. So if it seems as if this person is kind of clingy when they come back to you, just understand that this is just something that they're working through. But as long as you talk with this person in a loving way about it, reassuring them, letting them know that, hey, I love you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to be right here with you. Then this person will slowly start loosening the reins and not feeling like they have to try to control the situation like they did in the past. But all they need is reassurance that you love them, that you're going to be consistent, and that you're going to be there for them. And trust me, that person is going to eventually fall in line and they're going to be able to give you that, that space and that respect that you both deserve. <sighs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Man. Okay, so I'm I'm done crying for tonight. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. And wait a second. <laughs> I was about to close it out. But um, it is telling me to pull this erotic sex oracle cards here. So I'm going to pull one card from here to show what type of intimacy you all are going to have. It's saying like what, what's going to happen when you two get back together. So, ooh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to see what's going to come through. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. See, this is why this person is going to feel that. Okay. It's going to be some trust issues when the person first comes back to you. That's why you have to definitely practice patience with them because this person has been hurt a lot. Okay, this person has been hurt a lot. They've hurt people, so they're afraid that, hey, I'm going to get my karma if I go to the person I want to be with. But like I said before, reassurance, okay? Reassurance with this person so that they can understand that they are in the right hands this time around. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!